contemporary fad, or modern day tradition. Hi, I'm Elon Benford, and today I'm live here at Burn Hookah Bar in Southfield, Michigan. What we're gonna do for you today is we're gonna give you behind the scene access on what makes this product such a huge phenomenon. We're gonna have live interviews with people who are regular hookah smokers, and they're gonna let you know what it is they love about this product so much. Stay tuned, we have a lot more to show you. I believe hookah is a flavored tobacco. Um, it doesn't hold any nicotine or any chemicals of that sort. Also, hookah is a good way to socialize with your friends and family. Well, I like that you can really relax, you know, maybe do your homework, hang out with a few friends, talk, so watch a game if you want. It's a real nice environment. Hookah gives you the opportunity to sit back, relax, enjoy a game, watch a movie, and also do something that's interactive. It's fun. You can do hookah tricks. You can sit back. You know, it's doesn't harm, it's not harmful at all to the body. In order to prepare a hookah, first you must cut out the grapefruit. After you cut out the grapefruit, second you must punch a hole through the middle. The third thing you must do is you must put two toothpicks in that act as a filter to prevent the tobacco from falling down the stem. Fourth, select the flavored tobacco and compress it all together so that you can get the best quality hookah and the most efficient experience. Lastly, you pull all the flavored tobacco together within the grapefruit and place the foil over the top of the grapefruit to hold it all together. Now the hookah is ready to go. Hookah, temporary fast or modern day tradition? Well, hopefully you now have the answer to that question. I want to thank our guests for sharing with us today what it is they love about this product so much. And we look forward to seeing you at a local hookah bar in the near future. This is Elon Benford here in Southfield, Michigan at Burn Hookah Bar, signing out. <laughs>